A trial has begun in the Democratic Republic of Congo designed to discover which of four drugs will be effective in treating patients with Ebola, according to the U.S. National Institutes of Health. We started a formal clinical trial to determine if this one is better than this one is better than this one. The trial is a partnership between the Congolese health authorities and international groups, including the U.S. National Institutes of Health, which has developed a treatment called MAB-114. There was an individual among many who actually recovered from Ebola. We brought that individual, who was a Congolese person, we brought them here to the United States, to the National Institutes of Health. We drew their blood, and from their blood, we derived what's called a monoclonal antibody, a natural product that's an antibody, a protein, that the body makes to protect itself against different types of infections. There are two other antibody treatments developed by U.S.-based pharmaceutical companies MAP and Regeneron alongside an antiviral medicine called Remdesivir. All four treatments have been used by medical teams on the ground in the DRC for what's called compassionate use. How long will it be before we know if this is something that is beyond promising? So the only way you know is if you get a certain number of people who are infected who get treated with this one versus this drug versus this versus this. And then at the end of the trial, depending upon how many people are in the trial, you'll know. Given the level of instability in the outbreak area in the east of the DRC, it's likely to take months to develop a strong set of results. The researchers will need at least 500 infections and preferably more to establish which drugs are effective. Daniel Wrenches, CGTN, Washington.